Yo, what is up, G Crew? I'm Chris G, bringing you guys another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a portrait shoot with Liz. So, without further ado, guys, let's get started. All right, guys. So we're here at the, a park. I forgot the name of it, but thanks to Jen, she helped me find out how to get here. But got Liz right here in the background, Hi. and Haley as well, Hi. her yes. friend that they've known for forever, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna start taking photos right here. <laughs> yeah. So. We're gonna take photos right there and it should be pretty, pretty good or pretty cool. And we also have a lot of spots, um, I guess greenery area that we need to explore. So we try to take photos at that big house over there and it, there was a no trespassing sign that wasn't there before. So unfortunately, we couldn't take too many photos. We got like a little bit, Liz is still trying to warm up. She's kind of nervous, but uh, but we're working at it, all right? So, any yeah. any thoughts, Liz? I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why. I always get nervous right when the camera turns on. All right, so the next spot that we're gonna go to is this little plain area. It's right over there, it looks really cool. And then the, there's a little Japanese thing. I don't know what it's called. It's like a, like a what is it called, a gazebo? I guess. That's, is that what they're called? I think so, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I learned that from Kristen, so. That thing is a gazebo. We're just gonna call it that. It looks pretty cool. We're gonna get that in the background. This is gonna be right here in this area. Should be pretty good. <laughs> Okay, on to our next spot. We just had a really good spot right here in this plain area. It was really nice. So now we're gonna go to that gazebo spot. Hopefully we can get some bangers there. Looks like Liz is happy with the photos, so I'm glad. It's kind of nerve wracking because we're trying to figure out the poses, but yeah. Liz, what do you? Yes, I like them so far. So that's good. Mm -hmm. We were gonna try to get that spot right there and have Liz stand right there while the gazebo's in the background, but those people can't take their spot. This is just on your phone. I'm looking at poses. I'm getting inspiration. So we tried doing a photo shoot in this area, but there's like a no trespassing sign, unfortunately. So we can't really do that there. Sucks, but uh, I guess we have to deal with that. So there's always gonna be curveballs when you do photography and videography and stuff like that. So we're working with it. Okay guys, so we just wrapped up the shoe. I think we got everything that we needed. Um, mm -hmm. It was a success, right Liz? Yes, I really am excited to see them. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in the office or in my room and uh, with all the photos edited and we'll talk about those. So yeah, I'll see you when we're there. Okay guys, so now that we're back in my room, I did want to go over some of the photos that we took. So if you're a photographer, you kind of warm up to the shots, right? So as you progress through the, the, the shoot, I guess, your shots kind of get better and better as you go. At least that is the case for myself. So these few photos here that I'm going to show were all right. She does like to showcase the scenery. I did want to get some close-ups of her, so those came out really nice. Because um, I usually like to get the bouquet um, very silky smooth or bokeh, whatever you say, or however you say it. And that's like pretty much the blur in the background, those of you that don't know. But yeah, I try to go full body, half body, close up to her head, headshots maybe. So those came out cool, and then we moved on to like this tree area that was pretty cool. It was really, it was really nice. And um, yeah, I made the water blue just because it makes it way more attractive um, as far as like aesthetic wise. You, no one wants to see a green green water here in San Antonio. Like our water is disgusting, guys. And um, yeah, so we got some of her sitting down on the on the the roots, I guess, which looks super fake, but they're really cool. They're like real, I promise. And then we went to this place where and it's like right by that tree where it's like this plain area. It's like this plain field with like a nice like depth of field. So there's like a large distance from her and the background. So I was like, I have to capitalize on that. So what we did was we had her standing up. And we got those shots and they, those came out really cool and we also had her sitting down as well so whenever you're trying to pose a model not saying that Liz is a model she's a friend but whenever I guess the subject right is your model so I had her just moving around doing different things we we're doing research on the spot trying to figure out what kind of poses we wanted to do 
and that was hectic. We we're I was stressing out because I'm the photographer. I'm the one that's supposed to know what I do, what I'm doing, because like I have previous clients, but I don't know. I usually do like family stuff and not, not a single person, a singular person, I guess. But yeah. So then we also moved on to this other spot near this. Um, it was like a gazebo, or I don't know what it's actually called, but. Kristen told me that like those things that you like go under or whatever are like gazebos. So we couldn't go inside of it because of, you know, what's going on in the world. But because um, it had like a no, tresp a, a no trespassing sign. So we didn't cross that. But um, yeah, we just worked around it. So we had it in the background. So we had her sitting on these steps that were pretty cool. And uh, yeah, they came out really dope. We were trying to figure out how to pose her there with the angle that I was at. So I had to get really low. And uh, yeah. And then the next spot here was this like entry entryway to this like to just a, just a walkway, but like the entryway looked really cool. It has like this Japanese kind of look to it, so or like samurai esque kind of look. So those came out really dope. I really wanted to make the the reds like very like punchy, so those came out really nice. And um, last but not least, we came out to this part uh, this part of the park, I guess, where the the grass was just like overgrown. And I was like, stand over there. I think it looks really dope. And it did look really, really cool. I just failed at editing it. So unfortunately, they didn't come out the way I envisioned it. I don't know. I guess it's all subjective. You guys might like it. I personally, like, I feel like I could have done way better. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we had her and Haley take some photos. I was trying to get Haley to, like, because I felt bad because Haley was, like, helping me make TikToks and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I, I like to incorporate everybody. I don't like to leave anybody out, so. Uh, we got some of them together, you know, they're, they've been like the oldest friends forever. The shoot was cool, and then I had Liz on this little treeway area. It was super late at night when I was editing this, so yeah. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something new. I definitely did going on this shoot as far as like learning new poses, and uh, yeah, it was a, a work in progress throughout that shoot, so never forget guys that you're constantly learning as a shooter, right? So. Even if you do like the same thing over and over, you can like always go from a different angle instead of doing the same thing over and over. So I went to that spot previously, I didn't get shots like those, and those were like a long time ago. So like now I've gotten a lot better and the shots came out really nicely. So that's pretty much it guys. Have yourself a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and don't forget to please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.